Discord and say hello um, hello everyone welcome back to another episode of fire emblem fire, <laughs> fire emblem has told me a bad news zenrod has told me the bad news that if i do not save this woman fast enough she is going to fuck up all our plans so i'm gonna move roy forward yeah get him <laughs> get her save her all right and then we have to deal with this fucking <coughs> shitty situation i think we'll be fine because marcus is here to kill anyone that survives but so many people need healing Lot needs healing. <laughs> Lance needs healing. Natasha is overwhelmed already. Yeah. Well, how do you? How does this fucking? Did you call her Natasha? <laughs> because you could only think of. Oh, oh Ellen. Yeah. What game? What game? Is there, there's a Fire Emblem healer named Natasha. Yeah, it's from uh, the Sacred Stones. That's why I just always think about the Sacred Stones. There you go. I don't. You know, I understand. That's Ephraim's game, so that's where I live in my head on average. Yeah, you're like, well, am I currently thinking about Ephraim? Then why am I not thinking about Ephraim? Also, her name is Ellen. That's just a terrible Fire Emblem name. It really feels like they didn't put much effort into that one. Do you think we can hit this guy? I'm going to say yes and go for it. Hit him! <coughs> Smacked him with his dick sword. Got him. Got him. The dick never fails. It always stands Except true. For what it fails. Uh, 80% of the time, it works 100% of the time. All right, now let's see. <laughs> uh, damn it, I really need to move. Yeah, I'm gonna put him over here. Then I'm gonna chuck this axe at him. Bam! Good job, lot. I want to get some exp for. I think I could actually just snipe this guy for the rest of this. Now here's the problem that's gonna happen: is that uh, my formation is gonna be fucked. It's so trying to save this girl yeah yeah so let's hope whatever comes next isn't too bad okay. i can hit him fire hey loved up and because swords did such a good job defending lance i think it's only fitting that uh sailor mercury get the kill she needs it slap <laughs> I can't believe she does two damage. We need to get you a better Lance girl. This, <laughs> if you're going to stay on this team, you need to stop hitting people with your fucking toothpick that you found on the floor. <laughs> hey, this is my... This, he's, she's like Sora at the beginning of Kingdom Hearts when he has that little wooden sword made out of like two by... Yeah, that's exactly what she uh, picked. I'm a soldier it. too. Let's do it. I'm ready to fight the Heartless. It's like, no, you're not. My poor, the poor thief, by the way, he only came here to steal and there is nothing to steal. You are not going to get any EXP, my boy. That's just the weight of the world on you. Okay. I am going to, is there anyone really super near her? Yes, this guy. So guess whose time it is. I was about to say guess whose house. Uh, Run. Run's uh, house. I hate archers in the beginning of Fire Emblem because I always do want to use Pegasus Knights and they're always like, it's such a hard counter. It's so stupid. Yeah, yeah they, they like what? Like the way that they just completely... Which I don't really understand. Why, why, why what being in the air, I mean, how does that make it a hit? I think it would still be more difficult. It would it's be. a smaller target. Okay, now <laughs> this is a cr the creepy guy. People of nobility. Tarbile. Oh yeah, those are pirates. They're gonna go rip up that bottom town. Oh, so they? you have to save the bottom town from the pirates and the girl at the from the soldiers. Man, I just don't have enough healers for this. It's a good thing I'm about to get one, another one. Maybe that's why the game is giving it to giving us her because he's like, yeah, no, you're fucked. You're gonna need healing. Yeah, yeah, that's the good news is when you recruit this girl, she can heal. That's good. And hopefully she's not one of those dumbasses that's going to be like, you, did you, do you remember the Anna level from Fire Emblem, uh, was it Awakening? <coughs> Which so, one? The Fire Emblem Awakening, the, the Anna level where you had to save Anna from a bunch of thieves. Oh yeah, where she's just like running headlong into them and just fucking getting destroyed. Yes, and it fucking sucked. Alright, you are to protect me. 
Excuse me? Are you deaf? No, I'm Roy. <laughs> <laughs> Gallagher, why are you getting involved in my fights? <laughs> I can fight my own fights. Thank you. I don't need you standing up for me. How is it going to look for me, Roy? <sighs> my name is Claire Rain, not girl. I can use staves. Yes. Let's see. Roy is a very trusting individual. Yeah, he's like um, the WCW Sting of the Fire Emblem franchise, where I feel like at any <laughs> point one of these dudes is going to betray him. <laughs> uh, if anyone remembers WCW Sting, he mostly dressed up as the Crow. And here's the thing that a lot of people forget is that every other episode he got fucking betrayed because he was a dumbass and believed every single person on the NWO would uh defect the nwo to join him in his like weird goth phase and it was never that way <laughs> it was never he always got his ass kicked <laughs> poor roy yeah that's what roy is oh i can't believe that i healed uh the swords before lance it feels it feels wrong Let me see. Okay, how many more turns till these dumbass pirates start killing things? Okay, good number. I'm gonna bring down my thief. Now, here's a question I'm gonna ask you: Do you think that the thief can, with weapon advantage, not die to this pirate? Uh, uh, he might at least be able to dodge some attacks until the backup gets there. I would probably send Dick instead of the thief, though. I would send. I'm sending both. I'm sending Chad, the Chad, the thief. <laughs> <laughs> Chad it up. Oh yeah, that's right. We I think we <laughs> chained him to Ch the to Chaz last time we were. Yeah, we did. But Chad is also good. Yeah, Chad it up. He's Both here to take down these slifer slashers. Chad, Chad. That's right, because all the enemies are red, so he's here to take down slifer slackers. Yeah, because he hates slifer. God. It I don't. I think I'll never get tired of mentioning how fucking petty Kaiba is for making Slifer the worst dorm in the worst dorm. <laughs> yeah, and Avil is the best. One. It is. It's such a petty fucking power move. It's like his own shitty way of getting back at Yugi, who does not give a shit that Slifer is the worst. Yeah, that's the thing is that Yugi wouldn't even give a fuck. He's not like sitting at home miserable, but you know Kaiba's like <laughs> got him. You know that Yugi, when uh, Kaiba told him, he's like, so Yugi, I'm thinking of making uh, Slifer the worst dorm. He's like, hmm. So I said, interesting choice, Kaiba. When you consider all three god cards, I suppose you would put Obelisk at top for his infinite effects. And you would put Slifer at bottom <laughs> just because you have to build an entire deck around him. And it's just, it's just not common sense nowadays, Kaiba. <laughs> Yeah, when you tell Yugi that you're making a school for dueling, he's probably like, sweet! That's awesome! That's fucking awesome! Is there gonna be and, like... And I was like, no, wait, that's not the, what you're supposed to get out of Don't you feel something for Slifer being last? He's like, oh, just to be nominated is an honor, Kaiba. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, don't like how you're taking this. <laughs> how else was I doing? Yeah, you're enjoying this a lot more than I thought you would such a wonderful idea back in my day kids were taught things in school but that's useless when dueling is around <coughs> I, I also want to see stock meetings where he's like okay this next idea we're gonna have slifer be dead last he's like uh kaiba sure it shows on the polls that slifer is actually ex extremely popular he was yugi's main first god card you know so he kind of has a boost in popularity in that way don't care. <laughs> He's not going to be there. Doesn't matter. Don't care. It's not going to. Remember when in, did you watch the new movie? No, I, you the, told me about it. Of the... Remember... It's... <laughs> so one, it's really dumb, but there's a part of it where literally fuck, Kaiba makes like a, uh, a machine to recreate the Pharaoh. And then he, he beats it and he's like, that was bullshit. It wasn't good. <laughs> it was not Pharaoh enough for me. It 
it's not the same. Although, the, uh, like, English dub Yu-Gi-Oh! is absolute trash, but the, uh, the, um, the English Kaiba is so much better. Oh, English Kaiba? He's, uh, he does a fantastic job of Kaiba, because he's just so... He, the, it's it's literally the Kaiba as kind of the, it's the Solid Snake Kaiba voice. He has it just fits him for some reason. It's, it's remember, did you ever watch uh like you watch Battle City right? Uh, Yu Gi Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen it all. Yeah, remember when when Kaiba makes the dueling to uh to to like practice with obelisk again and he beats it and after he beats it he crushes the water bottle and he's like fire whoever made that bottle a kind of corp <laughs> product should not break that easily <laughs> it's like he's such a fucking ass he is an unbelievable asshole the the great thing about the um the english voice and every single lie that he delivered is always like I don't care about your magical mumbo jumbo. And he, meanwhile, he's like literally going into the past. Yeah, I know. He flies into the goddamn afterlife. Kaiba, surely you can see that this is our former life. Keep your mysticism to yourself, Yugi. <laughs> I'm here to win a card game. Yeah, that's the best part is he's always like, that's bullshit. Kaiba, you're seeing the same vision. No. You're just an asshole. Yugi. <coughs> I need the inscription, Mokuba. Put the inscription. Actually, the best one is when he's like, I don't understand. I can understand the readings of the Winged Dragon of Raw. <laughs> and he never stops to question the fact that you need to. That, first of all, that uh, Pegasus made it so that you had to recite an ancient Egyptian phrase in order to get your card to do anything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because the god cards, Pegasus just made those. Yeah. Like, they obviously they existed like all the cards, but Pegasus made them intentionally that way. He never stops to think of like, that's a very interesting mechanic. I like to see uh, Kaiba's review show where he reviews all the new mechanics of the cards coming out. <laughs> that would be great. I want to see that joke because it would literally just be him talking trash the entire time. And then at the end it says, the following video is made sponsored by Kaiba Corp. In for, in, by Kaiba Corp. By our dual discs. Come to Kaiba Land. Meet Kaiba Man. We've remodeled Kaiba Land since it was a, an original murder attraction for killing Yugi. It's now just a regular. It's now actually a legit theme park. Mokubo was really bummed out when I told him it was only going to be used for murdering. <laughs> You know what I hope is that, that is in Kaiba Land? You know how in Disneyland there's a statue of uh, Walt Disney holding the hand of uh, Mickey Mouse? In Kaiba Land, yes. I wanted it to be a statue of Kaiba, and then below him on his feet is Yugi's head as he's crushing it, and he's putting <laughs> his hand up in victory. No, I, I want the statue to be it's Kaiba and Mokuba sees it, and he's like, oh man, are you making that statue like the one in Disneyland? Is it going to be you and me? And he's like, just wait, Mokuba. <laughs> and he finishes it, and he's holding hands with the fucking Blue Eyes White Dragon. <laughs> he's holding hands with all three Blue Eyes White Dragons. <laughs> You're there too, Mokuba. Look closely. And then it's like, literally, it, he shows him that they, they remade the, the locket that he has with Mokuba in it. <laughs> and he's like, wow, thanks, big bro. So considerate. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Yu-Gi-Oh that I believe in. I well, this is where this guy shows up. Okay. Um uh, uh, Oh no. Uh, <laughs> no, no. Oh, oh no. No, Marcus, himself. Marcus, stop. No, Marcus, no. Oh. Oh. But you need the healer girl up there. Where did she go? She's, uh, she, she went down below to heal the others. I didn't think he would fucking show up and attack Marcus. What kind of asshole fights him? <laughs> I told you he was gonna show up. 
You didn't tell me that he would show up and immediately attack the dumbass fucking Lancer, man. <laughs> all right, all right, I got this, I got this. I have a plan. I have a plan to get us out of the Yes, I do, actually. Oh, no. <laughs> My plan just suddenly went bit dick bup kiss into the air. Did it? Uh, maybe. I have a better plan than whatever your plan is. Okay, so here's the problem. These two archer assholes are going to be a real problem. Uh, so my plan is... Okay, here's what you do. Here's what you do. Okay. So are you ready? Are you ready for this to go? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. Back up along the cliff. Out, like, the back end of the cliff. With, like, Roy. As far as you can make him walk. Here's the thing, is that, um... I think Marcus... Okay, no, that's good. Trust, no, trust me. Trust me. Do it. Just take Roy all the way back. Okay. Okay, now take Marcus and go and stop one space in front of Roy and then give Roy all of Marcus's weapons so Marcus has no weapons. Oh, okay, I see what you're going with this. Now that guy will just swing on Marcus and he won't be able to hit him and then... He'll just stand there until you can get the girl up there. I will also say he does have killing edge, so I'm going to take this Vulinary. That's fair. I don't think I'll need it right now, but that might be needed in the... Okay. <laughs> now, for God's sake, get that girl up there. Where? Did, how far did you move her? Uh, just, by the way, she's all the way down here. Okay, everyone, I'll see you next time next video <laughs> for the next episode <laughs> of Fire Emblem. <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> die here, I think, watching this fucking fire emblem video. <laughs>